Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Tomb Raider. We made it to Shantytown in the last video. I went ahead and changed Lara's outfit a little bit more suitable for the weather conditions. And if I pull up the map, you can see that Shantytown is a very, very large area. We have six different campfires, two separate uh, tombs, two different challenges, and a bunch of different collectibles to grab along the way. So just like with the mountain village, this area is going to have two separate fires for us to rest at to enable faster and quicker fast travel. So what I'm going to do first, now that I have my fire arrows, is I'm going to try my very best to shoot this uh, cloth, what looks like kind of like a scarecrow, through the fence here. I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to do it or not, or if I have to go around. I may have to go around. Oh, no, there we are. Because this is one of our challenges. Uh, luckily for me, I was able to cheese that. There is a way to go around and grab that, but I figured it would just be faster um, to do it from here. So you have to burn the cloth off of those effigies and then pull the whole thing down using your uh, rope. So there's five of those in the area, and I do believe that our other collectible also has uh, five different things for us to look out for. In Edo, Japan, traditional men's garments had no pockets. Inro were miniature containers used to hold personal effects, like an ancient form of wallet. So again, lots and lots of collectibles in this area, and the way that Shantytown is laid out, there's a lot of different uh, areas to go, a lot of dodging and weaving, and a lot of different levels to a lot of these buildings and, and whatnot, so when we're able to get our treasure map, it's going to be insanely useful. This is a document from Grimm. Grimm's right, my father would want to study the Solari, but he'd also do anything to save his friends. We haven't really heard much from Grimm. I don't know if you guys remember him or not, but he was the old uh, sea captain who I think perhaps owns the boat. He was with us on our expedition, of course, one of our friends. So all I'm really doing right now is just going along the best that I can, unlocking um, some of these areas, destroying some of these barricades, using my vision to unlock uh, some of these relics and uh, collectibles on the map and whatnot, and kind of just doing my best to go along and collect everything. Not really a um, optimal way to organize this in my opinion so this is going to be a little bit messy in terms of organization but like i said once we get the treasure map um that should be a lot easier for us we have another effigy here which is actually right below the uh, campfire so that one's pretty easy to find We're already at 2 of 5 and we've barely moved, so that's a good sign. And of course, now that we have the shotgun, we can also... Well, we got some enemies here. We can also return back to the mountain village, is what I was going to say. Um, and we can finish the collecting there. I don't know when I want to do that. I'll, probably soon. I'll probably make my way through Shantytown. And we'll perhaps do that when we get to our other campfire on the other side. Um, of the area, but I kind of want to focus on this area right now because again um, a big area lots and lots of stuff to collect and we only just got here so Kind of want to focus on some of our new environments Oh more guys really These guys just never give up do they? So, obviously you're not going to get ambushed with as many um, big mobs of enemies as we were running into when we first got here, but this place is riddled with different enemy encounters, and I think it's implied that this is where the Solari live. So that's possibly why. Um, either that or they're just here patrolling quite often because it's a big area. I, you know, I don't really know the reasoning behind it, but you do have to kind of watch yourself. 
freshly lacquered wood, but this one's made of brass. Probably dates from the 19th century. The inside of this inro smells like tobacco. Perhaps this was used as an ancient cigarette case. And then I think I can climb up here and we should be able to find a document. And this is another one from Matthias. This is insane. Matthias has convinced these men that the spirit of the Sun Queen is somehow alive and keeping them on this island. Or I guess it's not from Matthias, it's from one of his men, one of the Solari, but it talks about Matthias and his insanely, you know, powerful hold over these people. Almost like a cult, I guess, is, is what I would call it, or what it seems like to me. This is a really good opportunity to get a lot of experience and whatnot, though, obviously, because you have the two optional tombs, you've got all of these... Um, relics and all these documents and stuff like that and if you have been taking the opportunity to level up at every um, possible instance that you can you probably also have the ability to look on your map and get some of these things revealed to you collect some experience from the boar while I'm at it and over there is kind of heading more towards where I need to go for the uh, story, as you can see. So I'm going to just ignore that for now. And I'm just going to have a look around and see if there's anything else that I can uh, find. But again, it uh, might be a little wiser for me to come back and do this after I have the uh, treasure map. Oh, that one tanked a shotgun shell. It's pretty beefy boar. His will to live was strong, but my guns are stronger. There's a cache here. Some ammo. If we look on our map, just by running around, you can see that I've managed to sort of uncover uh, quite a few things already, and that's only just getting started. Now, I do believe that the tomb is on this side of the map here, so if I'm not mistaken, it's actually up here. And... Hmm... I think you can get ambushed by getting stuck in a trap. I'm gonna try and jump over it. Oh, that actually worked. I've never tried that before, um, but as you can see there... There is a um, trap that Lara can get her foot stuck in, and then you would get ambushed by uh, more Solari. So that's up to you if you want to do that and get more experience. You know, you can loot the dead bodies and, and get some more stuff. But I think I'm just going to kind of ignore them for now. I want to at least get some progress made, aside from collectibles and whatnot. It's nice to get some sort of progress made, or at least I feel like I've done something. So again, we have a very long kind of ride to get into the tomb. But from what I remember, this tomb here is uh, pretty simplistic. Get some salvage. I can't recall too many of these tombs really giving me that much trouble, or, or many of them being serious head scratchers. I think there's only one or two that I can really think of that I either didn't know what to do, or I, I really had to try it a couple different times to get the timing down. This one is the Well of Tears, and this is a, another very, very easy tomb, actually. This one reminds me of the first tomb that we ever did. This is another uh, weight puzzle. So we've got these canisters scattered around that we have to try and put on this platform here to get the platform to come down. And I think three will do it to make it come all the way down. So we'll just wait for that to fall. 
And what we need to do is just catch the platform on its way up. So we'll go to the bottom and take all the weight off of it. And then make a run for it. And we should be able to latch onto this as it makes its way up. And then, if I can time it correctly, again, a lot of these things are about timing. You should be able to just flawlessly jump right from the platform, uh, right onto the ledge, sidle up, and uh, grab your treasure and get out. I think I was just a little bit too slow there. So we'll just do this again. Hopefully I can do it this time. And then we can grab our goodies and get out. I do believe that both of the tombs in Shantytown are both weight puzzles, so they kind of have a theme for some reason or another. And there we go. Let's see what we got this time. So quite a bit of experience. We get our um, salvage as well, and we also have our relic map. Not quite a treasure map. It's not going to reveal everything to us, but we will now be able to see all of the relics, which will allow us to complete uh, that set and get additional experience from that. And then hopefully our other tomb that we'll be going into will have that treasure map for us and we can complete the rest of it. Might make this a bit of a shorter video today, just as an introduction to uh, Shantytown. I know we only just got here, but I don't really feel like mixing in all of the exploring and the tomb raiding and, and the combat all at once, so... What I might do is I might just go back to my uh, fire and have a look at some of the things that I have. It looks like I have uh, an upgrade for my rifle. I've got a lot of salvage at this point. I think I also may have a skill point to spend. Might have a look at what I have and then we'll actually make some progress and move on in the next video. So this is one of these areas where you can either be here for a very long period of time or a very short period of time, depending on what kind of person you are. I'm definitely the go over everything with a fine tooth comb kind of person. Uh, I like to get every opportunity to get salvage and, and whatnot, so. We can modify our assault rifle, which is great. I actually have two skill points to spend and I have over a thousand pieces of salvage, so. Uh, I guess I s already started upgrading the rifle, so I'll just continue on with that. We'll add these, uh, I guess just, just that one new upgrade. Okay, I was gonna say these upgrades, but there was just one of them. And other than that, I can start upgrading my shotgun, I guess. I have so much salvage, so I guess I'll just start rather than leaving all that salvage there. And with that, we're able to almost complete all of the available upgrades on our shotgun as well. In terms of skill points, I'm not quite sure what it is that I want to do. Um, I will grab the dodge counter upgrade because this is very, very useful with certain enemies, and I guess I'll get dirty tricks. I never use this, but I do have to purchase skills in order to get the um, top skill in all the skill trees, so I have to kind of purchase it eventually anyways. So that's kind of a throwaway skill in my opinion, but I'll have to get it at some point, so 
there we are we're back where we started but i promise you guys next time we will go on through the area and we will make some progress next time hope you have enjoyed the introduction to shantytown and i hope that i will see you next